Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And you know, this, this morning, I, I like to capture my thoughts with the words, Pits and Palace Rendezvous. You know, r reading the story of, of, of Joseph is, is one of the most interesting um, stories I've ever seen especially in Genesis chapter 37, verse 24. You, you remember that in, in Dothain, um, the Bible says the, the brothers of, of Joseph took him, beat him up, and then um, removed his, his uh, robes, his coat of many colors, tore it to smithereens, and then dumped him into a pit. They dumped him into a pit. And then um, later on, you know, he was thrown into a dungeon in, in, in the palace. Now, there's something that I, I, I saw that was very, very interesting. Now, I went to the hospital. When I was at the hospital, I was given a long list of places to go. Um, I needed to go and do an x-ray. Apart from the x-ray, I needed also to go to the laboratory where blood was going to be taken and they were not taking the blood in small doses. I mean, they were taking it in quite some quantum. And uh, I don't like that thing. I just don't like it. And please, uh, you can pray for me, but I don't like it. You know, and um, as the blood was being drawn, I was just sitting down to myself and I was saying, what is all this? What is all this? What is all this? But all the things I was doing, I was heading for one direction, and that is to see the doctor. And the doctor was going to bring a cure to whatever malady I had, to whatever illness I had. The doctor was going on. So I was passing through painful processes. And some of the painful processes, I mean, I didn't like it at all. Like going into a scan. You know, that thing looked like a coffin to me. And I was very upset. Yeah. But all I was doing, I was driving towards one place. And the place I was driving to was, was to see the doctor who had something good for me. Are you aware that the pit and the dungeon and all this was a rendezvous for Joseph to meet Pharaoh and for him to be promoted and for him to ride the second chariot and for him to wear many robes? Wow. Wow. So all the things that were happening, it was God pushing Joseph towards destiny. It was God pushing Joseph towards a place. So if you remember, when his brothers came to him and his brothers were, he said, no, 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 no. Don't even take the, 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 the responsibility of where I am now, for where I am now. He said to them, whatever you sought to do, it was God who brought me here. So you know, the pit and the palace are, God, are on God's invitation card. It is just that you go from one place that is called discomfort. You go to one place that is called uh, tears. You go to one place that is called hopelessness. You go to one place that is called despair. You go to one place where it's called despondency. But you know what? He is pushing the marbles of your life. He is pushing the, he's moving the chessboard in your favor. And at the right time, you realize that all these things work together for you to be at the palace. So the pit and the palace are God's rendezvous with you. So you know what? Now I'm comforted by the fact that all things work together for the good of those who are called by his name and those who put their hope and their trust in him, the pit and the palace, one rendezvous.
See you later.